This next guest of ours started his career as a session musician in Los Angeles, recorded with everybody you can imagine, right on up to uh, Sinatra and Sonny and Cher and the Beach Boys and you name it. He had his own TV show, which helped bring country music to a whole new audience. He's a recording star, a television star, a movie star. He's a terrific guy, too. Please welcome the very talented Glenn Campbell. <laughs> where it came from. Boy, you're still, oh, still picking away. Yeah, I still fumble over a few licks occasionally. I don't think there's any fumbling involved with that. You know, before the show, uh, uh, we were trading stories backstage, and when I say trading, that's the polite term, I was actually listening, because in the trading currency of great stories, I didn't have quite as many as he had. Uh, but we are talking about uh, a lot of the different things you've done over the years, and, and I, I want to say to you here publicly, you know, when I come up and I talk to Brian, I've known Brian since the beginning, and, yeah. and, and a lot of stars I've, I've known since back when. Obviously, I grew up playing your records on the radio, and, and watching the TV show, and, and this is a real honor to have you on the show. So I just oh, want to say thank you for doing it. I really well, thank do appreciate you. it. Very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And if you're a Glenn Campbell fan like I am, there's a, there's a show that's going to be on TNN we want to talk about. It's the Life and Time series. Yeah. Now, have you had the chance to see this yet? I've wondered if the stars get a chance to see their life story before it airs. Uh, yeah. Sandy Brokaw, uh, the my publicist, he got me a tape of it, and uh, it's it's fine, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the book. Do you, do, you, do you watch it and think, oh, yeah, I remember I did that, or I remember, yeah. you know, different and you memories? you say, wow, you know, it's like, 
Well, there was a lot. The good time hour, the, the time with the Beach Boys. There's a ton of stories. We got a clip, though, for, that the Smothers Brothers are in here. Oh, yeah. well, can you mind if we show this? No. All right, let's take a clip. It. This is from the life and times of Glenn Campbell. You're going to see it uh, later on this month, uh, or next month, rather, on TNN. Let's take a look at it. We were looking for a replacement in 1968 for the summer show, and I said, Glenn Campbell. And I saw him on the uh, Joey Bishop show. I said, good looking guy. He's got a, got a presence to him. And, uh, and I was surprised. I said, yeah, he can talk, too. Some of these songwriters and singers, uh, they sing great, but they can't talk. So when I saw him chat really well on the couch, and I said, this is worth pursuing. So I met him and talked to him. So we started having him a guest on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix will probably be a standard. I think it's going to be here forever. It's such a beautiful I think it will, too, because it's such a beautiful melody. I don't like Phoenix personally, but... Uh... <laughs> I like Phoenix. I've been to Phoenix. I know you it's have. It's a very nice town. I love Phoenix. Well, my brother always has a wild time there because he's such a wild swinger. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a real devil. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh. Were they that much fun? Oh, definitely. Tommy's still the same way. Exactly. He used to laugh at me for playing golf, and now he's the golf nut. It's amazing. You're still golfing now. Yeah. You realize, 68, Brian White wasn't born until like six years later. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, do you st uh, that, that's, a, that's a great clip from the, uh, from the historical standpoint. If you want to see a lot more of that, uh, you can watch the entire show. It's going to be on Thursday, August 15th right. at 8 p.m. It's the Life and Time series featuring our guest, Glenn Campbell. But they did a good job on it. They really did. I was, I was pleased with the show. They, didn't, they showed some of the bad stuff, but thank God not all of it. There's some, <laughs> there's, there's some footage. I'm not going to go there. Oh, okay. There, there's some good. footage of, of, at the start of that of a party that uh, your daughter Debbie threw for you, and she's been on the road with you for a number of years now. Yeah. She started doing it uh, about three or four years ago. She's, uh, well, when Anne Murray and I were doing a tour of England, and she was like 15 at the time, and I took her around with us in Ireland. She was going to school in Lakenheath, mm -hmm. and I took her over to Ireland with us, and uh, some of the, uh, she was with us almost the whole trip, and uh, boy, she, she wanted to be in showbiz then, so. Well, we're going to get her out here to sing some. Yeah, We can do that. And you have a new album to talk about uh, that's coming out in time for Christmas with a lot of great songs on it. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they told me, a guy from England called us, uh, what, I, I forget the name of the company now. It won't, he sent me a list of like 20 songs to do a TV album for, for Europe. Uh, Jack Jackson, a guy here in town, mm -hmm. he did the arrangements. And we did things like Feelings and uh, Without You, You've Lost That Love and Feeling, uh, Time in a Bottle, and that kind of stuff. And I've got a tape of the album now, and I, it, I stick it in my car, and it just brings back such memories. I don't even, sometimes don't even know it's me singing. You That's know? terrific. But can you imagine me singing, Feeling, nothing more than feeling. <laughs> I can imagine you singing anything. I really can. And, and can you say and sing some more songs as well? Oh, I'd love to. All right. Glenn Campbell's going to say and be our guest. We're going to uh, get the name of that record label and uh, tell you what it is coming up soon. I think, I think this is going to be great. We want to mention uh, a couple of shows that Glenn Campbell, who's our guest here on Primetime Country, is going to be doing. Uh, you're back uh, up in uh, Branson for a couple of weeks in September and October? Yeah. We start September 10th for three weeks, and then off a week, and then three more weeks in October. Okay, and if you live in the Nashville area, you get to see Glenn uh, tomorrow night. You're here in the right. park, you and the band. Right, we're here at the theater. Geo Theater. Geo Theater, right here in Nashville. Very good. If you're uh, in the area and you can make the drive, please come and see Glenn Campbell and the band, uh, including our next guest, who I think you would be perfect to introduce. Oh, yeah. She's, I, I like her. So you did, the, you did this whole TV show thing before. You could, we could just change seats. You could uh, sit here and do the whole thing. No, but, I had cue cards. <laughs> no, but I, I like her and I love her. And uh, she really is an asset to my show because we get to sing the harmony and we get to do the stuff I did with Ann Murray and uh, with Bobby Gentry. And, and she really does a great job. And that's my daughter, ladies and gentlemen, Debbie Campbell. All right. <laughs> that moment where we have to have the guests sort of introduce themselves to each other and wonder if they yeah. know each other, but I'm pretty sure we got this one covered. Um, you know, Debbie, my boss. <laughs> I'm not going to forget him. Boss and dad. You, you know, you grew up in the music business, obviously, as the daughter of, of, of Glenn, but you didn't decide to get in until uh, a little bit later. Right. What year did you decide to make the jump and say, I, I think I want to sing? He, dad was doing the Arizona State Fair in 1987, I think Probably it was. was mm -hmm. And we were over there, and I said, I want to sing with you. And he goes, okay, and I go, oh man, I really have to do it now. <laughs> I've had that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, we've been having fun ever since. And now you have some uh, kids of your own. Are you thinking? Are they thinking about getting into the business? Oh, I think because they're around the theater all the time and uh, they enjoy singing and everything. But 
I don't know. My daughter's kind of um, had some interest, but she has to graduate school first. That's and interesting. We'll talk about it. Did you, um, did, now, because, Glenn, it's interesting, a lot of times people who are in show business will steer their children away from the business, saying, no, you don't want to get involved with that, or, or sometimes we'll steer them into it and say, I want you to be involved. And so I'm curious as to, did you try and get Debbie into the business, or did you try and keep her out of it? I, did, I didn't uh, encourage her one way or the other. I just figured if she wanted to do that, fine, you know, because I didn't get to be around her much when she was a little girl, so I'm getting the best part now. I don't have to go through all that teenage stuff. But <laughs> So you guys are really getting a chance to catch up here. And well, later that's in exactly life. right. Cause she was, uh, uh, her mother married a guy in the service, so she was in Germany and she was all over the world. So that's in fact that it was a pleasure to go to England because I hadn't seen her for about two years. Now, now, how is it? You have to tell us honestly. Now, how is it? We have, turn the other way there, Glenn. Second, how is it working for Dad? I love it. Do you? It's fun. We have a good time. Are there ever times when you say, Dad, I'm sorry, I've had enough. That's it. It's I've got to get a break. No, never. <laughs> Because he's the boss. Can I sing more? Can I have a raise? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, there, there's no, a special thing you did for your dad uh, in this, uh, that you did that is at the front of the show. If they watch Life and Times on August 15th here on TNN, they'll get to see some special footage. Now, what did you do for him? Well, um, he had a birthday in April, and it was his 60th birthday. And so... Um, <laughs> he doesn't look it, huh? He looks wonderful. I don't look a day over 59 and a half. <laughs> In fact, he called me his sister half the time. Uh, and he had a bunch of folks show oh, up. Oh, yeah, oh, gosh. We had, oh, probably 300 Campbells. Wow. And they all stayed right next door in the theater, on the hotel right next to the theater. And it was a surprise, and Dad didn't know it. And, and it turned out wonderful. There was probably 400, close to 400, 500 people there. Jimmy Webb came in, wow. and Larry Weiss, who wrote Rhinestone Cowboy. And, and it was really neat. And I think Dad was really touched. And, of course, he deserves it. He oh, sure did. Of course. That's terrific. That sounds like a terrific time. Now, the, the role that you've taken in the show is you have to play the part of about four or five different female duet partners that your dad had over the years. Uh, that's got to be a bit of a challenge. It's fun. We do a wonderful medley of his duet songs, and, uh, and it's really fun. Which ones are in the complete set? Go ahead. She did one on the new album, the, the, the one we're doing for England. I'm going to get it released here sometime. We did uh, Let It Be Mean. Yeah. Terrific. Maybe, I, I, I hope we can get you guys to do that here tonight on the show. Oh, do you yeah. think you could? Wow. Think you could? Okay. All right, well, that'd be great. When you, guys, when you guys are together on stage, uh, is, you know, they say that there's, with singing together as a family is different than singing together. It, no matter how well you harmonize with people who you're not related to, there's a special singing ability that comes from being from the same family. Do you think that's true? I think it is. Yeah. It, oh, definitely. The genial harmony, it's, it's amazing how quickly it it just came about this and it's the phrasing sounds uh, it's it's really good I really enjoy singing with her I, uh, and I really like for her I, I mean she's such an asset to the show like when you come to the show tomorrow I'm gonna make I'm trying to get her sing more on the show well good yeah. well we're gonna get you guys to sing can you stick around with us for a few minutes oh sure I can I love that question can you stick around no Tom we're gonna walk off the show in a few minutes <laughs> Glenn Campbell and Debbie Campbell are our guests right now